Yo, 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 what's going on with all you Birds fans? Y'all already know who it be. It be your boy, Reese Dizzle, the great. And yes, welcome to the Bird Watch. And hey, if this is your first time on the Bird Watch, please like, subscribe, and share. Because you have to like the Bird Watch because it's something about the Bird Watch that you like. And what we do here on the Bird Watch, we keep a close eye on the birds and enemies of the birds as well and the whole entire NFC East. And now, hmm, after further ado, now that all that is out the way, Let's talk about what time it is. Are you excited? Because I'm definitely excited. Y'all know what today is, baby. You know what today is. Today is game day. That's right. The Philadelphia Eagles season open. We done waited all season for today. We have waited all off season for today. We've waited six months for today. Yes. All the bullshit is over. All the trash talk is done. All of the moving pieces is out the way. And all 32 teams have their 53 men. And it's time to go to war. But let's talk about today's matchup. The Philadelphia Eagles have flown their asses off to Detroit. And now we're about to go to war with the Detroit Lions. And I hope that the Philadelphia Eagles pack some extra knee pads. Because Dan Campbell got his boys down there ready to chew off knee pads. They want to they wanna chew off knees. So they're going to be chewing through knee pads and trying to get to our guys' knees. They're going to be hungry for knees. All right. Let's forget all of that. Let's let's kick the actual factuals. Now, a lot of people have the Philadelphia Eagles super duper hyped up. I seen the Philadelphia Eagles hype video and I loved it. I loved every second of it. But then I asked myself, are we overhyping this team? We've all seen this before. Y'all remember this young talking about We had an all-star team and we was supposed to just win the Super Bowl real easy. And we damn near couldn't even win five damn games. And here we are again. This is probably one of the most hyped teams or hyped up teams that we've had in a long time. And when you think about the Philadelphia Eagles here in the last few years, we must admit we are super duper excited. But I don't want to get too excited. I said this a while back. I don't want to jump off the cliff and just throw us in the Super Bowl off top. You know what I'm saying? I kind of like how Jason Kelsey, you know, addressed the fan base address the locker room and just address everybody that we have to take every game seriously. And we cannot look past no opponents. And the Lions, we really have to think about this. And I'm not feeling like we're going to lose this game, but <clears throat> it might wind up being a little bit closer than we all think. I mean, due to the, rel due to the fact the Eagles are re relatively healthy going into the season. And the Lions have suffered some injuries, especially on their offensive line. So I'm going to keep my eyes on the trenches. I believe Philadelphia got an edge right there. Right there to me is where the Detroit Lions lose. Because if the offensive line is kind of beat up, and we rotate in our front four, I think Jerry Goff is going to be a little bit uncomfortable. Jonathan Gannon preaches turnovers. I think Philadelphia might get them a few turnovers today. But this is a different Detroit Lions team. Deuce Staley is even saying stuff like he, he want to just come out and smack the e Eagles in the mouth. They didn't already tip their hand to us. They going to run the ball, y'all. They going to try to run the ball. And they going to try to use Jerry Goff once they get to running the ball with DeAndre Swift and Jamal Williams. What, what, what they going to do, they going to try to run the ball heavy. Try to get our defense to believe that's that's their recipe. 
they're going to try to do what we did to them last season when we ran the ball for over 200 and something odd yards on their ass. So what they're going to try to do, Deuce do, do, do Staley didn't like that too much. He didn't like to see his old team bust out 200 and something odd yards on them and his team couldn't run the ball effectively at all. So Deuce is kind of pissed about that. So believe me, Deuce is going to try to run that ball and they're going to try to run it heavy. And when they start running it heavy, look out, Philly, because they're going to try to use Jerry Goff with some old play action shit and, and try to set up D, DJ Clark and those guys. So we got to be real careful on how we approach this team. Cause this is a different Lions team. Trust me. They got some playmakers. They got some guys who can play. Play. And they definitely look, they definitely, I'm sorry, gonna try to be physical with us. But that's all good. We ain't tripping. All Philadelphia got to do to win this game, in my eyes, y'all, is do what we always do stay competitive. Stick to what we do good. Stick with the run game. Start out this game running the ball. Let's try to get physical with them. Let our offensive line get physical with them. And you know what I'm saying? Play our game. And, and hey, if, 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 D, if Detroit try to stack the middle, try to control the edges, try to keep Jalen in the pocket and force Jalen to beat them passing the ball, and hey, we beat them passing the ball. I just don't want to come out trying to throw the ball all around the field and chucking the ball all over the damn place and we not utilizing the running backs. That's what I'm saying. Defensively, I'm not worried about it. We get a good opportunity to see what our front four could do, considering the fact that the Lions front four is kind of, I mean, the Lions offensive line is kind of beat up. We get a chance to see. If Jordan Davis is everything that we think he is, we get to see these linebackers fly around. Weapon X is going to be Hassan Reddick. We get the chance to see how Jonathan Gannon is going to use Hassan Reddick. And we get to see the the the, the, the back the, the back end of the defense, which would be our corners, and we get to see CJ Gardner Johnson. So we get an opportunity to see what this team is going to be about. And I'm real excited for it. But I predict the Philadelphia Eagles win this game, y'all. Hmm. 31. 10. 31 to 10. Philadelphia. I don't know. I, I just threw that out, you know. I didn't really give it a whole lot of thought. But. I expect for the Philadelphia Eagles to win this game with ease. I, I expect the Philadelphia Eagles to come out, get physical with them, and play some real hard-nosed football. The hell with hard knocks. Because hard knocks is edited. They only showed us the good stuff. So if anybody watched the hard knocks and saw the Detroit Lions and got your heart all pumping, feeling like it's a possibility that the Detroit Lions are going to walk all over the Philadelphia Eagles, you can get that shit out your mind. We coming to play today. We done waited a long time. A.J. Brown, I hope he pull off some uh, uh, Terrell Owens debut. I hope we show our asses. Hey, until the next time, enjoy the game. And y'all already know, fly, Eagles, fly. I'm a OG, y'all already know. I got my